President Biden has launched a political war. Perhaps his handlers think he has to come out swinging. After all, he's way down in the polls, and if his party loses control of Congress in November, his presidency will be severely limited. In desperation, he describes his opponents in extreme terms. To me, watching these recent speeches, he comes across as an angry old man. And it's not going down well. There is pushback from inside his party. In the New York Times this morning, Brett Stevens writes about Biden's big national address. You remember the one? He was flanked by Marines and blood-red banners. Quote from Stevens. He only gratuitously insults millions of deplorables, writes Stevens, while again branding the Democrats as the party of sanctimony and condescension. That is in the New York Times. Ouch. The present divisive language has upset at least half the country. And this morning, something of a modest presidential walkback. Here's the tweet. I want to be clear. Not every congressional Republican is a MAGA Republican. I know because I've been able to work with these mainstream Republicans. Together, we can choose a different path. Two years ago, Joe Biden promised to end our toxic divide and bring unity. He has done the exact opposite. Angry old men do not bring people together.